My name is Joji Yamada. Fourteen years ago, my sister and her husband died in an accident. She was my only family. They had a daughter, Karen. No relative in the husband's family could raise Karen, so I took her in. It wasn't easy for a single young man like me to become a dad all of a sudden, but thanks to the kindness of the people around me, Uncle Joji, thank you so much for everything. She overcame her painful past of losing her parents and grew up fast and well. At least I thought so. Uncle, would you like dinner? A bath? Or me? Karen, that's enough. Get dressed. Apparently, I made a mistake somewhere while raising her. Karen seems to think that I'm her relative, not her dad. I started to live with her in her last year of elementary school, so that could be why. It was fine when she was younger, but she's an adult now. I was having a hard time. Uncle Doji! It's time to wake up! Oh, Karen. Good morning. You'll be late for work. And your breakfast is getting cold. Let me sleep a little bit longer. Five more minutes. No! I'll punish you if you don't get up now. Karen! How many times do I have to tell you to stop doing this? Don't be mad. It's just us. You're already 25, so you have to stop doing this. Nobody will marry you if you don't change. I'm not worried. After all, I have you. Huh? What are you talking about? You're my niece. But we aren't blood related, so there's no problem legally. That's right. Karen and I are not blood related. Karen was my sister's stepchild. Still, I can't marry my niece. Why not? Come on! Even if there's no legal problem, Karen is my niece. I see her as my daughter. You too, Uncle. Nobody will marry you if you don't change. You're already 37. Don't you have a girlfriend? Tell me! You're too noisy. It's none of your business. You're so mean! <laughs> Karen... She's adorable. Wait, what am I thinking? She's your daughter, Joji! Karen's always been dependent on me. Even as an adult, she wants my attention. I used to think it was cute, but she's making my heart skip a beat these days. Anyway, Uncle, it's time to eat. Yeah, sorry. Look, the omelette came out nicely today. Karen, don't press your breasts against me! Here, Uncle. Open your mouth. Uh... Why are you sitting next to me? Sit in front of me. Boo! You used to open your mouth and eat whenever I said, um. Um. I don't know where to look. Karen's such a spoiled little girl. I can't keep her away from me. I understand Karen wants my attention because I've raised her after her parents' death but I always felt that it wasn't good for her to be so dependent. Karen is beautiful, but I've never heard her talking about her boyfriend or anyone she's liked. I was a little worried. I felt like I had to find someone for her so she could be married soon. One day... How are you, Yamada? How's Karen? Has she found someone special? No, she hasn't. She's too beautiful to be single. How about an arranged marriage? An arranged marriage? My boss is very kind. He's been caring about Karen since she was little. Karen and I got along well with his family members. Actually, my acquaintance's son is looking for someone to marry. He's 27, and he works for one of the top-ranking companies. They're around the same age. What do you think? I see. I never thought about an arranged marriage before, but this could be a good chance. We'd be grateful. Thank you. Great. Then let me contact him. I agreed with the arranged marriage for Karen. I thought she would be happy if this all worked out. But Karen doesn't know anything about my feelings. 
when I got home. Welcome home, Uncle. Would you like dinner? A bath? Or me? Jeez, Karen, you need to cover yourself. Who cares? There's nobody else besides us. That's not it. You're not a little kid anymore. Someone got angry. Oh, hey, Uncle. Let's take a bath together. It's been a while. I'll wash your back. Are you listening to me? You're a grown-up woman. We can't take a bath together. Okay. I'm a grown-up woman. That's right. You need to act like an adult. Act like an adult? <laughs> then why don't you check if I really have grown up? Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> I got you! You're so cute! Karen, that's enough! Come on, it's just us! I can't stand it anymore! What? What's wrong? Are you mad? Oh, I'm sorry. You've gone too far. Uncle? What's the matter? You're different from usual. Karen, I need to talk to you about something important. Come here, please. And I told her about the arranged marriage. Do you want me to meet this person? Yes, he's two years older than you, and his future sounds promising. He's good looking, too. It's not bad, huh? That's so sudden. Why? Are you dating anyone? Then what's the problem? Nothing. You jerk. What was that? Okay. Fine. I'll do it. Great. Uh, let me set the date and place. Oh, there's no need for an arranged marriage. I've already decided who to marry in the future. What? Karen, what do you mean? Then introduce me to him. Leave me alone. Why would I do that? You've decided who to marry in the future? That was news to me. I couldn't stop wondering who it was, but... A few days later... Karen... Oh. Karen was not happy that I decided on the arranged marriage for her. She kept ignoring me, even if I talked to her. Finally, it was the day of her marriage interview. What am I doing here? I was so worried that I secretly came to the restaurant where their meeting was happening. Wow. The guy is more handsome than he looks in the picture. Wait, Karen is being quiet. It was obvious from a distance. The guy was talking to her with a smile, but Karen looked kind of down. Excuse me, would you mind if I step out to get some air? I am too nervous. Are you alright? I'll come with you. Actually, would you mind giving me some privacy? Karen came to the garden outside the restaurant. She came closer to me, looking sad. Shoot, she'll find me! I hid behind a tree. Uh, Uncle is a jerk! Jerk, jerk, jerk! Uh -huh. Why doesn't he notice who I really want to marry? Is him! What? Is she joking? What the hell is she saying? I was so surprised that I accidentally made a sound. What? Uh... Uncle? What the heck are you doing over there? Whoa, uh, nothing. I'm just a tree. I'm not your uncle. <laughs> no, you're obviously my uncle. Uh, nope, you're hallucinating. Uh, well, bye. <laughs> Wait, stop. Why is Uncle Joji here? I'm telling you, your uncle is not here! Yes! He's right in front of me! Don't underestimate the former track and field athlete! Jeez! Uh, 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 you're so stubborn! Wait for me! Uh, just let me go! Whoa! Karen, are you all right? Are you hurt? Uh, um, I'm fine. Huh? No! 
Karen, calm down. Here, just cover yourself with this. Uncle Georgie. Let's just get out before you catch a cold. Why did you come here? I'm sorry, I was worried about you. Then don't suggest the arranged marriage in the first place. And you heard me earlier, right? Uh, yes. But Karen... Why don't you get it? Do I mean anything to you? Am I your niece? Or am I your daughter? Karen, you're just joking as usual, right? I'm not joking! I've always loved you! When you took me in, I knew you wanted to be the best dad for me. But I never saw you as my dad. I've always seen you as a man. And I've always wanted to marry you. Uncle, how can I marry someone else? You jerk! Oh. You're the only one I want to marry! What do you think of me? I... Uh, I... Okay, Karen. Are you sure that's what you want? You can't change my mind. I've been in love with you since I first met you. This is your fault. I see. It must have been hard. I'm sorry. I found myself hugging Karen. The arranged marriage made me realize my feelings for her. I've loved Karen as a woman, not just as my niece or my daughter. I feel bad for my sister and my brother-in-law, but I want to make Karen happy from the bottom of my heart. After that, I apologized to my boss about the arranged marriage and told him that I'd marry Karen. He seemed surprised, but... I see. I knew it. What? Well, I felt like the way you looked at Karen was special. I'm sorry for suggesting the arranged marriage without thinking about Karen's feelings. Make her happy. I appreciate it. My boss congratulated us. Today, Karen and I will be a married couple. I'm looking forward to our future together, Uncle Jyoti. Hey, we're married now. You can't call me uncle anymore. <laughs> You're right, Jyoti. The road was rough. But I love her from the bottom of my heart. We will create a happy life together. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.